featuring four great films from the Mom in the Movies book. Both available now at shop.tcm.com and Barnes & Noble. I'm Robert Osborne. I couldn't be happier because I'm sitting here with this month's guest programmer, terrific actor who's been seen in such films as Blazing Saddles, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and Young Frankenstein, a film he also wrote. I'm talking, of course, about Gene Wilder. Welcome, Gene. Thank you. So good to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Good. Gene selected four films that he'd like us all to see. The first of the four is a 1942 film from director Mervyn Leroy, Random Harvest. Now, am I ever surprised you picked this movie? <laughs> We've talked about this so often. This is one of the, this is one of our bonding things, is that we both love this film. I wouldn't say that it's the best film I've ever seen, I, but I would tell you and the audience that it's the one that I like the most of all the films I've seen, and it's also the most romantic film I've seen, and I just love it. Uh, I, I did some studying about Ronald Coleman and Greg Garson, but mostly about Ronald Coleman. What did you find most fascinating about him that you didn't know? Well, uh, when he was in World War I, after two months, he had a bomb, a German bomb, blasting, and he got it in the leg, and he went to uh, a hospital, and when he came out, he had to limp for the rest of his life, but he wanted to hide it. Very How well he did with that. Well, it was wonderful. Yeah. I, was well, I think the amazing, to me, the amazing thing about Ronald Coleman is he was such a success in silent movies, and then sound came along, and he had the greatest speaking voice in the world. The best. The best. And in this movie, you've got Ronald Coleman and Greer Garson, who had the best speaking voice. You've yes. got these two beautiful voices yes. together. Yeah talking in a sound movie. Yeah, it was Who wonderful. Who knew? So you're a romantic guy. You <laughs> find this a romantic picture. Yeah, I married a romantic we, girl. <laughs> yes, and a lovely wife. Yes, yeah, thank Karen. you. Karen. But one doesn't think of you as a romanticist so much because you're, you're always so funny and you've made us laugh so many times over the years. Well, so I, it's kind of lovely to find that your favorite movie isn't, say, a Marx Brothers movie or something no. slapstick, but you love this romantic movie, Random Harvest. It was my favorite. At the end, I'm not going to be killing anything. At the end, he didn't know what his name was, you know, originally. It, and they he has called amnesia. Him amnesia, and they called him John Smith. So she started calling him Smithy. And when Karen, my wife, knew that it was Smithy, she said, but if I want to call out to you in a big shop and there's a lot of people, I won't say Smithy, I'll say Smitty. And that's what she's done now for the last... Calls you Smitty? Smitty. All based on Random Harvest. All for the last 10, 12 years. That's great. Yeah. Do you think she knows your real name? <laughs> that's maybe do, you mean, do you mean Jerry Silberman? Yeah. That is your real name? It, it was. Uh -huh. At the actor's studio, I, they wanted me to come in. And I had to think, I don't want to be called Jerry Silberman or Jerome Silberman. Um, so I, I found Gene Wilder. And that's how uh, they introduced me. Do you think of yourself as Gene Wilder or Jerry Silberman? I think of Gene Wilder. Yeah. Now? Yeah? Yeah. Well, we certainly think of you as Gene Wilder. <laughs> yes. Let's look at this movie. Okay. A great film. Here it is, a movie that received seven Academy Award nominations, including one, indeed, for Ronald Coleman as Best Actor, one for Best Picture of the Year. And Greer Garson probably would have been nominated, too, except she was nominated that year for Mrs. Miniver. That's right. But here from 1942, selected by this month's guest programmer, the great Gene Wilder, Random Harvest. Mm -hmm. 